Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video with me. My name is Cotton Candy Doll. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. Welcome all. Hi. This game is called Star Seeds. I was actually going to do this game for the Reach for the Stars game jam for this year. Unfortunately, I found the game jam when there was only like 11 days left. In my eagerness, I tried to hurry up and create a magnificent game. A dating sim called Star Seeds. Your job is basically to repopulate the earth with half human breeds. So basically your job is to basically court a bunch of women. <laughs> yeah. The game is a little bit sleazy in that way. It's, co it's closer to a harem, but there is a marriage-based system in here. Uh, you can have children, there's fighting, there's battles, there's potion crafting because you have to craft star potion in order to get hearts from the girls. And the hearts will get, is you know, when you get the hearts, you can charm them and you can take them to bed. And I thought this game would be pretty cool. Unfortunately, it's not finished. Um, I am still working on it though, however. I'm thinking of maybe putting this game on the app store and I finish and I'm trying to finish before December so possibly by the end of next month I have some a few uh surprises that I plan on adding in the game like you know maybe some voices uh I can't really think of what else to do with this but it's definitely going to be interesting uh let me know what you think I'm going to turn up a little bit I'm going to stop talking I'm not going to do that much commentary you guys can probably guess what's going on from what's happening so I hope you guys enjoy my presentation of Star Seeds. I'll turn up the volume a little. Is it the recording? Yes, it is. Okay. Journey to Earth and find the stars reborn as humans. Your children will restore humanity. You'll need a few items before traveling to Earth. So try looking around. Good luck. There is a glitch here and I fixed it. I think I fixed it. All right, journey to Earth.
Doki Doki A is another type of, um, it's part of a lotion, a part of a love potion. You actually need uh, Doki Doki B too. Um, and that's to create another part of the potion. Buy me a drink, buy her a drink, I guess. You gained a heart from Natanya. Eventually, I'm going to have like a heart system where it kind of shows how many you have with everyone. I don't know how much I actually completed. Why did it get dead silent all of a sudden? That guy is obviously insane. How do I get you out? Hello, inmates. No. Oh, guys, I think this is the hospital. Nope. Um. Uh, okay, here we go. The hospital is fine. Um, he just gives you like checkups and stuff, but I haven't actually tested them out, so I don't know how good or bad it's gonna be, and I don't know if you guys want to see it. You know. 
Yeah, okay, so this is the potions. Um, this is like a potion shop, I guess. I've lived here for 20 years. There's a myth about infertility. Something to do with a birth crystal. Okay. All of my potions are man-made. Guys, you know what? I did not get any money before I came here. Yeah. Thank you so much for your service. Thank you. You guys see how I... um. Anyway, I did this game. There was only 11 days left to the game jam. And I joined so late, I didn't even finish. Um, this game is like unfinished, so. Mm -hmm. There's like no, what happened to the sound effects? Mm. Is this still recording? Yeah, it is. How much gameplay have we had? We've only had about 12 minutes. So... Uh... I guess it's messing up on me again. It only does this when I record. It was fine. I swear this was fine before. Like, now it's acting like this. But anyway, I'm gonna close that out. The game is technically still running. Um, I'm gonna show you guys all the levels. No, nope, that's... There's that one. I didn't show you guys that one. But you get actually get in hot tub in this one. You can get in a hot tub and stuff, but they don't let you stay in there because you have to do um look for star seeds. This is the victory. I forgot to guys show you guys at the beginning. This was like years ago, and they beat him up and everything. He's like, oh no. Um. This is the end we went in the first time. Wait, let's see. Go back to you. I'll show you guys what the hospital looked like inside. This is hospital. Um, this is like the whole world type thing. This is forest. This is the forest area. I don't think I actually did anything in this area. I think I was running out of time and I kind of just stopped working on it because I was like, I'm not going to get done in time. This is called front porch. Front porch of what? Oh, I think this is the orphanage. So there's children here too you can adopt. Um, this is the garden at the orphanage where the kids will be like sitting down. Like I had this whole thing for how I wanted it to be. This is the gel. Eventually you bail them out. And there's a jelly vent. Yeah, there's a tunnel there. So there's a lot of things. I have a lot going on. Anyway, I have a lot going on with this game, and um, I do, um, I am happy with, so far I'm happy with the game. I mean, I'm pretty happy with uh, the way the game turned out. Oh, the music finally stopped. Will it let me, can I return to where I was? The thing is, while the game is recording for some reason, it won't play the game all the way through. I don't know why it's like that. It, yeah, literally it's still recording. It's like 14 minutes or whatever. But, um, I don't know how interested you guys would be in buying this. Um, I want to show you guys one of the hospital events really quickly. I also kind of want to test it out to see if it actually works or not. So I'm going to... Put my player over here. You guys know how to do this already. 
if you followed my tutorials in the past. Starting position, let's start my player off here. Oh, he's naked. Well, that's okay, he can be naked. Yeah, save the changes, why not? I just want to show you guys like the hospital events you can do in a game. If it'll let me. Oh, let's turn the sound back on. Here. Does he not move? Oh yeah, he does actually move. Okay, yeah. Let's go see if he'll give me a checkup. I'm not like half naked anyway. It should be easy. Hello, what are you here for today? I forgot what I... I want an exam. I'm feeling sick. Pregnancy test. Let's see what happens if I do a pregnancy test. Nope. You are a man. Of course. Of course I'm a guy. I knew that. Uh, what are you here for today? Uh... I want an exam. I'm feeling sick. What happens if you tell me you're feeling sick? You just look tired. Sure to get lots of sleep. You look tired. Sure to get lots of sleep. That must be... I must have meant to say something else. Hello, what are you here for today? I want an exam. Let's go to the exam room. Okay, let's see what happened. All right, let's begin the exam. Okay. Remove your clothes, please. They're already off because I came here naked. Bend forward for me. Like this. Very good, now cough for me. You're all done. Great job. I'll reveal your results once you get dressed. You are healthy. No need to worry. Um, I don't know if it's actually going to let me load anything. Like I said, it's when it's records, it acts really weird like this, guys. I don't know why. <laughs> Yeah, so what's it gonna do for my bed events later? Yeah, because later I'll do like um sleeping events. Even events with him, like whenever you add those things in games, it just makes it so much more interesting. Um when you have a character just go up to the bed and it says like um you went to sleep and then there's nothing like if it says you you went to sleep and then you just wake up and then you're like normal. It's kind of like boring. Like, I feel like that's not really realistic either. <laughs> um, so I like to add, like, dialogue. and I kind of like to add, like, a scene when they go before they go to bed or while they're, you know, napping. Like, say, like, I'm, like, they're laying down and it's saying, like, I'm so tired. And then it drift, it is say something like, you drift off into sleep. And it will show, like, a bubble icon of, like, Z's or something. And you laying on your bed. And I actually like to have those little small scenes in there. It just... It makes it more, of course, it's not real, but it makes it more interactive for you, you know, and it, and it takes time to put the amount of work you want to for that to look the way it's supposed to. Like, I'm just not lazy when it comes to my game. Like, I like my games to look like something like, hence the get dressed, undress system in there. Anyway, you guys can look forward to the other things I'll have available, like, in the future for this game. But, um, this game is set. I don't actually have a set date. This is the ocean. I think there's a travel event here somewhere I was trying to do. But I don't think I got to that because I think I ended up, is it still recording? Yes. I think I ended up, um, somehow not finishing that part. This is his bed. Yeah, so this is like, a, oh, these are beds, okay. So this is basically the bedroom for the, like the orphanage where the children will be and everything. Yeah, um, I'm planning to do a lot with this, so. Uh, yeah, anyway, I wanted to show you guys this.
really quick um and just kind of let you know what i was up to you i'm not done with games in the gaming world i'm trying to do my own type of games trying to come up with my own things just using this little game making engine my computer is not powerful enough yet for me to use unreal engine but i do know how to use unreal engine i know how to model characters and add animations and things to them i learned how to do all that it just crashes my computer whenever i try and use it so i went to something like rpg maker that won't actually crash but like i said i can't really record and play the game at the same time it looks like so i just have to show you stuff like this like this is just an environment i created i can honestly do so much more with this i can make this like a real tabletop counter I can actually add like, I don't know if you guys can see like next to these people, I can move these guys and add like a bottom part to this and it'll be like they have to be in like high stools to reach the table but I mean there's so much more I can do with this that I was just in such a hurry to get done because of the game jam and I didn't even make it anyway. So. If you guys have questions, just leave it in the comment section. Um, I will go back to doing my shifting videos. I just wanted to show this off to you and let you know what I was doing. I'm hoping my game can be done before December, though. I am trying to finish up the game by the end of not October, but November. That way, it'll be, a, it'll be available for iOS. It'll be available for Android, PlayStation. Not that anybody would want to buy it anyway, but like, you know, at least iOS and stuff for like phones. Maybe I'll do it for PlayStation and um, for Nintendo or whatever, for like the Switch. I don't know. Let, let me know in the comments what you guys, uh, what you guys, if you guys have ideas about stuff you want me to put in the game, because I'm actually not done. I'm still working on it, so... I would actually appreciate any type of feedback you have. Um, I can obviously do better than this too. So this is just what I was able to come up in probably a couple hours because, you know, I only get a couple hours on here. I don't get the full, you know, I, I work a regular job. So this was like whenever I can work on it. That's why I didn't get finished. So anyway, guys, if you like my video, please give my video a thumbs up. If not, then, you know, thumbs down. Um, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you're notified when other videos like this become available to you. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.